All right, guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. And we're just picking up where we left off here on this uh, dry island. So I found this PDA here. That's exciting. I can't wait to um, can't wait to figure out what that says. So let's explore this island. I still can't get over the fact that we're on dry land right now. I think this is so cool. So we're going to go this way. And we're going to pull out our scanner. Hopefully nothing tries to kill us. What is this pink cap? I'm curious. Is this worth picking? Um, a land-based fungus species with harvestable spores inedible. So we cannot eat it, but we can use the spores for something. Let's pick one up at least. What am I looking at here? Whatever that is, it does not look friendly. Um, okay. So yeah, I don't know. So in the last video on dry land, we came across a crab that tried to kill us. Um, I don't know if we're going to encounter any other species on land. But um, if we do, I feel a little underprepared. And I'm probably going to scream. This looks incredible, man. This looks really incredible. I mean, look at the vegetation. Oh, what's this? That's pretty. Voxel shrub. Let's scan this as well. Uh, a pink leafed plant with an angular appearance which grows exclusively on land. Okay, so as far as we know, there's no particular use for that. Oh, we don't want to fall down there. So I'm also going to have to go back to the other um, island. I call it an island. I'm not really sure if it, it is an island, but um, the other dry land, so to speak. I got to go back to that because apparently I left some goodies behind over there. So once we're done with this island, we're going to go over there as well. And then also for this video, I think I also want to go back to the Jellytrum cave and see if I can find some resources there. Now that I have the Seamoth, I think I can freely explore that area as well. And I think maybe that'll be it for the video. Unless I decide to go to the um, freaking... Oh, we got a... Oh, I remember this. Bulbo tree. Let me see if I can harvest anything here. Let me take out my knife. Oh, by the way, I got some new goodies. I have a thermal blade, which I found. I went back to, um, in the last video, let's see, I did like a 200 meter dive into a cave for one of the life pods. I forgot which one it is. I think it was a uh, life pod 19. That's the one, 300 meters down. And I, I went back and found a, um, like an emergency, what's it called? a time something time bottle i forgot what it was it was like an emergency kit basically and there was a thermal blade inside of it so that was pretty exciting um i was switching out my i don't know if i need to but i'm going to use this hunting knife here and see if i can't get anything off of this oh i'm too far away okay i got something bulbo tree sample okay so i get to plant these Honestly, I'm not sure if I need that right now because I don't have a means of planting them. But even if I do plant them, I don't really know what they're for. It might just be like decoration or something like that. Anyway, let's take our scanner back out and start scanning things. There's so there's so much here. So many different vegetation. A mink plant. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I thought that was something scannable. I'm looking at the bottom right to see if there's anything scannable. The um, the range on the scanner is actually it's actually pretty far. So this is a really big area. I thought this would be like a oh look at that. What's up there? I want to go check that out. I just don't want to get lost. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm gonna get lost. Okay, that's a Jaffa cap. I just want to pick up everything, but. I'm going to try and stay a little disciplined here. Speckled Rattler. I'm just scanning everything. It's just, this is so amazing, man. So I guess I'm going to go, I don't know if I can go that way. There's like a path. I hope nothing tries to kill me. Something is going to try and kill me. And I hope I can. Oh my God, I jumped right back down. I just hope I can uh, stay alive. So far, I don't see anything, any, like, wildlife or anything like that. That's good. That's great. Because I don't know if I could, if I can handle. There's another one up there. They look like little habitats. 
Let's go check them out. I'm also on the lookout for any, like, outcrops or anything like that. Resources. I'm not sure if I'll find anything like that on land, but you never know. Okay, look. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. I called it a crab last time, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. Bitch. Fuck. Where'd you go? Come here. Bitch. Come here. Don't run away now. Bitch. 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 You don't like that, huh? You don't like that, huh? That's right. Can I pick him up? Can I scan him? There are caves? Of course there are caves. There are caves underwater. And there's bound to be caves on land, too. I would rather not fight these things because I didn't bring a med kit with me. But right now, they seem like the only thing I really need to worry about on land. I'm pretty fast, too. I think I can, like, get away from them. Am I going the right way? Okay, so that's my pod. Okay, there's my sea moth. I don't know if I'm going... I don't really know where I'm going at all, to be honest, but... I think as long as I'm going up, I'm good. A grub basket. There is so much on this. We're going to call it an island. There's so much on this island. I did not expect all of this. This is nuts. Okay... We look like we have a little building over here. This is interesting. A little worrisome as well. Oh look, a little garden. Okay, so I'm a little worried about that cave, what's it called, a cave dweller? So this looks like, okay, he's coming for me. Come on. I know you want it. Is that two of them? Oh, there's two of them. Gotta be careful. Yo, they're so weird, man. Who thinks of stuff like that? Oh, he's stuck. Oh. Bitch. Oh, fuck. Bitch. 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 Come here, bitch. Yeah, you don't like the huh. You don't like the huh. You don't like the huh. Come back. Come back. You don't like the huh. Yeah. Okay. I can't keep fighting them because... I mean, can I? I can't harvest them or anything like that, right? So, what about this? I can pick these? But my inventory's full. Is there anything I can take out of my inventory? Honestly, I'm going to drop these for now. Um, and see if we can't... They must be... Okay, I don't know what was happening for a second. These must be, like, large. Yeah, they take up a lot of space. Not the small one. Oh, it's food? I can eat them right now? Oh, wow. Oh, nice. I want more. If I can get in there... Oh, look, there's another one of those uh, purple things. If I can get in this place... Can I get in here? Now I really want to get in here. But how? This is a bulkhead. Let's scan that. By the way, uh, I played a little bit off camera and I actually did build a little base. There's nothing in it, but I started building. So I can't wait to show that off as well. Maybe if I climb up here, I can... um get inside. Why was my guy moving so slow? Okay. I'm stuck. Alright, here we are. We're up here. And I think we're inside. Nice. Data box. Ultra glide fins. I want to take a look at that. Blueprints. Scroll down. Ultra wide. Where is that? I don't see it. Wouldn't it be like right here? I don't see it anywhere. Uh, I don't see it anywhere. And that's over oh, right here. Silicone rubber, lithium, and fins. Not bad. Streamline construction enhances swim speed considerably by comparison to regular fins. I am definitely... This is probably going to boost me by like another 15%, I would say. So I definitely want to make that. But how do I make it? I need to make a uh, modification station, which is what exactly a modification station is that what it's called or can i make it at the fabricator or do i need something called a fab uh, modification station i don't see i'm looking for i might have to figure this part out later oh here we are uh i don't have anything called a modification station so maybe i can actually Make the fins at a fabricator, I'm thinking. Hopefully. 
I mean, that's what I would, I would like to craft that as soon as possible. That would really help. Okay, this is kind of cool. Oh, we got a supply crate. Thank you. Looks like we got a battery out of that. That's always nice. Another uh, PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Got another one right there. Integrating new PDA data. We're just finding a lot of goodies over here. Wow. And I think this is our way out. Nope, doesn't look like it. I'm like stuck. Can we leave this way? Yeah, we can. Awesome. So we found quite a lot of stuff there. I hope I didn't miss anything. Worst case scenario, I come back. So I still want to make it up top though. So let's um let's keep going here. See what else we can find. I bet there's just a lot on this island to discover. Okay, so I'm going to take that path up there. That is a really cool shot. That's a really cool angle of the aurora. Which, by the way, once I make the laser cutter, definitely got to go check that out. I hope I have everything I need to check it out, but we'll find out, I guess, when we get there. Okay, let's go up this way. There's, um, it looks like there were three of these. There's one there, and there's another one back there. Let's go check this one out first. So it looks like this was all underwater at some point, but because of the uh, giant floaters that we saw in the last video, um, all of this got pushed above land, so... Our people, or the Federation, have been here before, is what I'm gathering. Like, we weren't just, uh, you know, cruising by and then got shot out of the sky. We were on our way here. Okay, we're close. I'm starting to worry that I wouldn't be able to get up there. This is really high up. I am scared of heights. Even in video games, I get a little, uh, a little anxious. Okay, anything in here to scan? A rifle. Do not tease me. Do not tease me. No way this is an actual rifle. It doesn't look like one. I mean, it kind of does. Uh, let's see. The stasis rifle uses patented technology to slow time around an entities to as near to a full stop as the laws of physics will permit, essentially anchoring the target in place without affecting its internal workings. It is designed to facilitate scientific and engineering operations by expanding the window of opportunity for action in time-sensitive scenarios. Okay. So... I, I mean, I figured, so it's not really a weapon, but it slows time, I guess, so that you can maybe get away, like escape, which makes sense because also from what I've gathered, um, our guy and the Federation are like peaceful people. Something really bad happened in the past and they don't like warfare, it seems. So let's pick that up there. Let's see what's in here. Integrating new PDA Disinfected water. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. I'm definitely going to need that. The day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Thank you. That's interesting that you would tell me that now. I mean, I already kind of figured that, but I picked up this water bottle that gives me plus 30 H2O. Awesome. Do I drink it right now? I'll wait. No, you know what? I might as well because I need it. I might as well. Okay. A lantern tree. That looks really cool. I might want to put one of these in my uh, in my habitat. Edible in an emergency. Good to know. Good to know. So I can pick a couple of these and eat them, right? They give 10 food plus 3 water. Uh, okay, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's um, it's alright. Let's get one more. That way we can... Uh, let's get a couple more. That way we can top off on water. There we go. Nice. A fern palm. There's so many like plants and stuff around here. Oh, we can actually scan the whole thing. An observatory. I wonder if that has any other purpose. I mean, if you're going to grow a plant, I guess you do have to put it in some kind of observatory. Okay, I think we're good here. I don't think there's anything else. So we got one PDA out of this, which is nice. And also the blueprint for the rifle, which is really nice. I'm going to have to figure out how to make that. I think that'll be really useful. I haven't really... I don't think I have much of a need of it, like, right now. But I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Eventually. Sooner rather than later. I think things are starting to pick up. And according to one of the last um, radio logs, there's something looking for us. Something is hunting us. And we need to make sure that we are prepared for when that day comes. Okay, this looks like their third and last one. Let's go check this one out. There might be more of these little habitats around. But, um, 
as far as I can tell, that's the last one. I don't know how to get up there, though. There might be another path up there. This does not look like the way. But I don't want to just, like... I don't want to just... Fuck. This feels like a bad idea. I'd rather stick to a path, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and save real quick. Okay. Now I feel a little bit... Eh, well... Okay, let's try it. It doesn't feel like a good idea. Okay, let's go this way. And maybe we'll find another path up. Like, okay, I thought there was going to be a path right there. Let's follow it around. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I wouldn't mind a game, another survival game, like this. You know, like an entire, just imagine like an entire forest. Um, just like this. I think that would also be pretty cool. Okay, is there a way up here? I don't... It doesn't seem that way. Am I gonna fall? Huh? Okay. Can't tell if we're going the right way or not. Oh man, and it's getting dark soon? Not good. I don't know if I... I don't know how I feel about that. It's getting dark soon, and... I mean, we have a flashlight. I think we'll be okay. We'll be okay. It's a good thing we don't have to worry about sleep in this game, I've noticed. I didn't know how I felt about that at first, but... I'm kind of relieved. There's just so much to do in the game that... I don't mind. Okay, it is so dark that I might actually... Step off of this freaking... Let me, um, let me pull out my flashlight. Which, by the way, seems like it's kind of running low. On battery. I might need to take care of that. Eventually. But, um, alright, here we are. This is it. Let's check it out. With our scanner here. Okay, we can pick these. That's good. We can use that for food and stuff. I guess I, I guess we can also plant them, but I don't really have any use for that at the moment. Got another PDA. I think that's it, though. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to go back to... First of all, we're going to go back to the Seamoth, we're going to go back to the uh, the pod, and we're going to... We've got a lot of PDAs to listen to, so we're going to get that done, and then we're going to go back to the other dry land and see if we can find something we missed. Wait a minute, am I missing something? I'm missing something. Not here, but like, um, I saw a... Uh, remember earlier, I think I saw... See, this is a perfect example of me... More than likely, you're probably having some form of ADHD. Uh, but I remember seeing a purple tablet. I think in the first habitat we came across, down below. Yeah, I think we did, and I didn't... There it is. There's a habitat. Let me see if I can get down there without killing myself. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I think there was a, uh, a purple tablet in there. Oh, fuck. I don't want to... No, damn it. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay. We're alive. We're alive. That was bad, but it wasn't too bad. Huh? I mean, am I wrong? Huh? Okay, I was hearing footsteps for a second, and I was panicking. But there are my own footsteps. <gasps> Dude, what is happening right now? I'm just maybe a little too too eager, too excited. Okay, let's get back down here. I think, I think, I don't see anything when I came down here. But I thought I saw... Maybe I was wrong. I could have sworn that I saw a purple tablet. Let me see if I can spot it again. If I go around the other side... Maybe I'll see it again. Yeah, like in here. How do we get in there? Wait. Oh! <laughs> oh I thought that was glass. Cool. Um, and another PDA. Awesome. Anything I can scan? No, I can't scan anything here. So that makes me wonder if, um, because I have that purple tablet, that makes me wonder if that's something I can use on this island. And I think the answer to that might be yes. As in there's another one of those, like, you know, force field doors somewhere on this island. I'm thinking, and I can actually access it. I want to know. I'm curious now if that's actually true. So 
I think before I go back to my the sea moth, I'm gonna look around a little bit, and maybe I can find something interesting, and I can use my uh. Oh look, there's another one. There's just so many. Yo, I cannot wait to dig into all of this lore. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can speed things up a little bit. The downside is everything kind of looks the same. So it's really easy to get lost. This is really cool. Oh man, it is dark. I didn't realize how dark it was. This is really cool. But I can't really tell where I'm going. Just imagine being here in like real life. It looks cute, but I feel like, you know, one rule of nature is that colorful shit kills you. You know what I mean? And this is a colorful fucking place, so I feel like everything here. But then again, you know what? This all used to be underwater, I guess. I'm not sure if that's how that works. But um, these plants are probably like native to, you know, underwater or something like that. Oh, this is such a cool idea. I feel like I'm only going back to the sea moth right now. I might need to come back if I don't see anything for me to use my tablet on. And so far, I'm not really seeing anything. Can I jump down there and not die? Better not. Let's actually take the safe route, which I'm assuming is this way. It's kind of hard to tell right now. I'm actually surprised there's no... Besides the little cave dweller things, there's nothing else trying to kill me here, which I guess makes sense. You know, this place used to be underwater, now it's not because of the floaters. Huh? It'd be kind of hard to, um... And it being an island, it's really, it's not like you're gonna find any land creatures on here, you know what I mean? But I was one I mean, I would figure like birds or something. Something like that, that would make sense. Okay, here we go. We can go down this way. Question mark without dying? Not sure. Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, we're back. Okay, cool. So let's get back into our Seamoth here, which, by the way, looks like it's running low on battery, so I might need to fix that when I get back. Well, let's go ahead and get back to our... Um, what's happening there? Okay, you know, usual stuff. Okay, let's go back to the pod. All right, guys, welcome back to our humble abode. Check that out. Yeah, you know you like that. Check out the crib. Check out the crib. Yo, let's go inside real quick. If you got the solo panel right there, let's check it out. You know you like it. You know you like it. There's nothing in here, by the way. But I'm really excited about this. Building in this game is actually really satisfying. I got a locker over here. Got some stuff in it. Um, nothing fancy. I should probably bring this first aid kit with me. And I think that's it for now. I'm going to put this battery in there. And I'm going to keep that battery on me. Yeah, I think that's good for now. I'm going to put one of the... I have two rebreathers now. I'm going to keep that one in there. And let's go. Yeah, I don't really know what to put in here. I was going to put like a radio and a fabricator and all that stuff, but I figured there's really no point because the um, our pot is like right above us, so I feel like that would be a little, you know, unnecessary. Okay. Let's go see. We have a lot of catching up to do. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six okay. Out. Okay, live pod six. Corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. There's more, right? I think there's more. There should be. You stopped being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief, Chief, what? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of stormwater or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry, you start wondering what he tastes like. Let him go deal with the plants. Damn, that is dark. 
Son, go deal with the plants. Oh, man. Interfere with my family again. And when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no saint here neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. Only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. So interesting. I don't think, since we've been playing, I don't think it's rained or anything like that. There's been no storm. So I am wondering if at some point in the story we're going to experience that. Okay, it actually took me a little second to get here. Um, because I went the wrong way. But um, we're here now, looks like. Unfortunately, it's getting dark quickly. So hopefully we can... Um, I don't know how long this is going to take, but... Let's go ahead and leave here. What was that? It's not like I hit something. I need to... um. I need to recharge my Seamoth. It's running low on battery. Okay, we're back on some more land. I probably should have topped off my water first. Because I don't really have anything for water. Yeah, I didn't bring anything. Hopefully I can find some fruit or something like that that can uh, help me out. You know? Anyway, let's uh, let's go check this out. I'm going to go up there first before I go to the uh, the door. I didn't remember if I came up here or not to explore, but there we go. Here it is. A purple tablet. Can I walk across this way? Okay, I feel like... I keep feeling like I need to save the game. This is so, like, this is so cool. I really want to go inside, which I can now do. But this is really cool. Humanity, like, we would definitely build something like this eventually. Of course we would. Okay. I was gonna say, can I jump down there? To save time? But, uh, I'm not Oh, wait, what's that? That looks like a little, um... I don't know, something that I could maybe scan? Let's go check that out. I was gonna try and jump in the water, but I have a bad feeling about that, so we're just gonna... <laughs> Take the road down. Take the scenic route. Okay, so there was something in the water over here. That looked really interesting. There it is. What is that? A Cyclops engine fragment. Looks like we can actually explore down there. That's really... Oh no, I don't think I want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I think I will, but for right now... Wait, were there fish down there? If I can catch some bladder fish... I don't think there's any... What is that? I don't know what that is, but let's pick it up. Actually, I might as well... Use my... Um, use this knife here. And see if I can't... Grab any food... While I'm out here. Where'd he go? He's laughing at me. Come here, you piece of shit. Come here. Okay, I think this will actually help my water situation. It helped it a little bit, not a lot. Okay, I think we'll be okay. I think if I go in now, I should be okay. So let's do that. Let's go in there now. I have no idea what to expect. But I am scared. I'm terrified. Okay, we're in. Let's hit the save button. Scans <laughs> indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Okay, that's cool. This is wow. This looks really intimidating. I don't know where to look. I don't know if anything is gonna jump out at me or if there's going to be like a um some kind of booby trap or something like that or if i'm going to get lost i have a feeling i'm going to get lost so what do we have here unknown language attempting translation oh god here we go um alien data terminal uh Discovered inside an alien tech, uh, facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. 
It's likely a solid-state computer, although there was no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. Uh, it is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Okay, so I got it. Making sense. So there was some kind of alien species that lived here that found a way to weaponize the aliens underwater. I got it. I figured I figured it out. Whatever's underwater, I, I know people have mentioned like Leviathan and all that stuff. There's something under there. There are sea monsters that were created by these guys, whoever built this structure, um, this ancient civilization, created the sea monsters, I guess maybe to protect the planet. That's my best guess. And that's coming from an English teacher. I feel like I nailed it, to be honest. When it comes to like movies and stuff, I'm really good at predicting plot. What am I holding right now? What is that? Yeah, I'm really good at predicting plot. High capacity alien energy source. I'm keeping it. Wait, what was it called? An ion cube. I think I needed that for one of my recipes, so I'm definitely keeping that. Is this a door I can go Your through? Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. The control room? Lower section. So where do I go for that? How do I get there? This way, maybe? I'm not Analysis sure. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Probably functional, honestly. Got another cube. I don't know what these cubes are for, but I'm going to keep picking them up. You have another terminal. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Okay. I mean, what was that? Can we see what that was? Data bank schematic? Um, be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind by mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings this facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials there is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means damn uh, the schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant Located elsewhere on the planet, the location is not listed, but there's evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where this schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security-sealed elevator shaft or separate underwater moon pool. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Okay, so I don't really know what that means for us. Oh! Oh, sh Oh my god, I thought I fell. Oh, that scared me. Is this the elevator? <laughs> Is this the elevator? Yo, one day elevators will actually be like that. You already know. One day, and I would not get on them. Hopefully I'd be- I'd probably be dead by then anyway. Force field, control. What? Is going on what is that oh that is kind of scary to be honest this is kind of scary so like so someone mentioned before that um i was gonna get the lassophobia and that i um i probably already have it but one thing i know for sure growing up i was kind of low-key scared of uh bathtubs i was scared of like water being in like uh how do i put it i can't explain it but the idea of being in meters. oxygen efficiency decreased. But the the idea of being in water that's kind of like in a tub with technology, I think that's it. Always scared me, like a bathtub. You know when you go in a in a bathtub and you put your um your head under the water, you can actually hear the mechanics or like the gears or whatever or the plumbing. That terrifies me. So that's actually pretty scary. And I for sure definitely more than likely have thalassophobia by now. I've noticed when I'm playing 
even when I'm playing, um, here's another cube. I think I need to probably get out of here, to be honest, because I am so low on water that I'm scared what's going to happen. I want that. Can we break the glass and get it? An alien rifle, strong resemblance to human weaponry and form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. But is there a way? Is what I want to know. I have a feeling the answer to that is no. Not right now. Because apparently that is made of the hardest material known to the universe. So we're going to leave that alone for now. But hopefully we can find like an off switch eventually. Oh, this is cool. I really like the scanning feature, the mechanic in this game. It's so cool. Alien Arch, does that have a purpose? Maybe. Okay, I'm getting a little, um, I feel a little pressed right now. Because I'm running low on... What's this? I'm running low on water. I don't mind having to come back to this place. If I can. I'm assuming I can come back. Because I use that purple tablet. I don't know if I'm going to need another one. But, um... Let's see here. I don't really... Everything looks the same. You know, and I don't really know where I'm going. Versus where I've been. Got another tablet. Nice. Let's keep looking around. I don't know what's going to happen when I run out of water. I think worst case scenario, I might start losing, um... Health. So hopefully that'll buy us a little bit more time. Doomsday device. That sounds really interesting. I want to check that out, but I also want to keep moving. Here's another... Oh, I thought that was a cube. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get inside. Okay. Nice. Alright, let's, um... Let's take a quick lap around. Let's be a little bit more efficient. Since we're running low. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Yo, what the fuck? That is not good! Oh my gosh. What was that? The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads... I don't want to know. Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Wait, what? Why am I doing this again? So, what is that saying? Okay, that's Doomsday Device, Blueprints. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, what was that? No... Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. Am I infected? Is that what it's saying? Okay. <laughs> that doesn't sound very friendly. I think it's... Am I... Is there something... Intake immediately. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Huh? Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Okay, that's not good. So I'm I'm in I'm infected, but like I mean I'm not gonna ask how or why. Is it because I kept dying? Or is this supposed to happen? Am I supposed to um, get infected? I have a feeling maybe I'm supposed to get infected, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. But I think that's I think I have to find a way to heal myself before uh, I'm trying to figure out where to go before I'm coming back here but I need to leave here like now I gotta leave here now and I don't really know where to go I'm a little lost I feel like I just ran in a big circle yeah there's nothing over here this is not the way out hopefully when my water runs out I have a little time I guess we're gonna find out but I don't really have a choice right now I gotta find the, um, the elevator. I don't remember where the elevator was. I don't know if it was over here. Okay, I remember coming to this room. 
Is there anything down? Too bad I can't like drink that water. I'm curious. I gotta check this place out too. Maybe I need to switch out my my rebreather. Did I do it? Yeah. Is this like a faster way out? This is like a hard wall. Oh yeah, it is. Cool. Yo, what is that? What is that? Oh my god. Yo, what the fuck is that? What is that? Yo! What the hell is that, man? Fuck! Oh my god. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Holy shit. That is... It's like doing- it's like doing magic! Holy crap, it's doing magic! <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. I, um, this is not fun anymore. Let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. At least when we come back, I know that there is, um, there's a way into the lower area. But this right now is fucking- that was scary. That was- I was not expecting that. Maybe if I, um, here, I was gonna maybe cook something to get some quick water, but... Yeah. We're losing health. We gotta get back. Gotta get back this way. That is a big chunk of my health. Do I have a, um... Okay, I've got a first aid kit. That was a big chunk of my health. I think we can make it. Okay, so we're back by Live Pod 17, and right now, I'm looking for... I think that's it right there. I'm looking for the Jelly Shroom Cave. Now that I have the Seamoth, I want to make my way back down here. If I'm able to. Looks like a tight fit. Oh, snap. That's not good. That's not good. We gotta be more careful. Because this thing cannot take a lot of damage. Okay, we can only go 200 meters, so we're gonna pull up a little bit here. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Uh oh. Damage back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. There we go, like right there. Oh my gosh. I need to repair my my Seamoth. Let's go ahead and put on... Okay, we got we have the rebreather on, that's good. Okay, so let's just look around. I just wanted to look around again. Now that I uh, have the Seamoth, I feel a little bit more comfortable. I just want to see if there's any resources I can find here. Like this, for example. What is this? Can I scan it? Nope, cannot scan that. Do we have anything? Can I scan? Okay, we've been over there. There's a rock right here. Let's check this out. Uh, let's see. Assessment, gold, lithium, and diamond source. That's huge. That's huge because... Remember the materials you got nice. are the property of the All Terra Corporation. Oh, that is super cool. to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. I like the sound of that. Anyway, I need diamonds. That's what I was hoping to find. Or diamonds, because I need diamonds to make the laser cutter. Okay, this is getting a little deep here. But if I can find... Looks like there's another one right here. I hope this is a, a diamond. No, that looks like it was lithium. Let's see if we can find any more without getting attacked by anything. Am I safe under here? Here's another one right here. If I get jump scared right now. Okay, that was, um, that was not. I'm too scared to, like, get close to that mushroom. We're gonna have to, like, eat the fuck out of here if we get jumped by one of the crab snakes. Yo, this cave is deep. I thought one was coming for me. I hope I don't lose my way. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. I already feel like I'm lost. But I'm just looking for one more. I probably have swum past quite a few, but... Oh, what is that? A, mag a magnetite? Oh my gosh. Nope. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. 
Let's see if there's another one in this room here. I don't think so. I don't see anything. I don't see anything at all. We might have to go back here. I don't want to go too far away. And I'm sure there... Look, there's one right here. Perfect. We got it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That's what I was hoping to find. I was hoping to find diamonds down here. And I did, so I'm happy about that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's get out of here. Yeah, someone mentioned in one of the um, one of the comments mentioned that I could find. Can I get out of here without banging this thing against the wall? Oh no, that's not good. Oh, there we go. We're free. Okay, let's go back to the pod. If things do not stop hitting me, where do we go? Where's the pod? I don't see it anywhere. Let's reactivate the, um, oh, it's not even, wait a minute. Where's our pod? Oh, it wasn't activated. There we go. Yeah, someone mentioned in the comment section that I can find diamonds in that cave, so I figured I'd go back and check it out, and sure enough, we did. So now we can make the, uh, the laser cutter, which brings us one step closer to going over to the Aurora. As a matter of fact, now that I have the laser cutter, I think I might actually... Nah, I don't know if I'll go in the next video. I feel like it's too soon. Because everyone makes it seem like there's something really big and scary over there. And I want to make sure I'm prepared. You know? But then again, I feel like it would be a lot of fun, so I might just go anyway. I might just go anyway. Okay, let's, um, let's get back up here. And let's see if we can actually craft this thing. Can we? Can we? Can we? I mean, no, it's under here. Where is it? Scanner. Here we go. Nice. Finally. That's exciting. We have ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, a laser cutter. Let's put that number five. Let me see it. Pull it out, sir. Pull it out. There we go. There we go. Nice. I want to go use this thing. Yeah, now I'm like, now I really feel like going over there. But uh, I think I think maybe the next video will do that. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for leaving your tips below. Thank you for engaging with me in the videos. It really means a lot to me. Um, stay blessed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.